today's been a day. And that's why almost a year later I've decided to make another video because this is a day that needs to come off. <laughs> um, you guys were so nice to me about my first video so hopefully when you see me take my makeup off in a minute you'll be nice then too. So I just always, I wash my face every night and hopefully that you guys do that too but um, I definitely do it because after a day like today, there's something about washing my face off that makes me feel like it's over and I can survive to the next. So anyway, I really don't want to give you a close up, but cute. Um, I am going to wash my face and I've, you know, my husband will tell you I've got a serious problem and it's called that, you know, I'm addicted to different kinds of facial products and not like your typical girl with all the eyeshadows and all the eyeliners and all that fancy stuff, but <clears throat> like cream. I'm addicted to creams. I'm addicted to anything that's going to make this face stay looking young as long as possible, even though I do think I've earned the wrinkles. Um, but there's nothing wrong with doing a little prevention here and there. So here we go. Um, I'm going to wash my face with my favorite face wash ever, which is this Clinique Rinse the Day Off. Is that what it's called? <laughs> it's just called rinse off. But it should be called rinse the day off and you'll feel better. Uh, foaming cleanser, mousse. Okay, so here we go real fast. You just wet your hands, put a little, little dab of this in there and you're good to go. And I'm back. And now that I officially look like Miss Piggy in skin tone, <laughs> <laughs> Don't fear, because I'm not Miss Piggy, although that would be cool. But um, no, my face is just super sensitive, so right now it's like red because I used warm water. And then it's also really red because I used this from Kiehl's. And this stuff, I'm going to start renaming stuff. But this is called microdermabrasion, also known as blast the day away. So one is rinse the day off, and this is blast the day away, like a sandblaster, because that's what's in this. There's little teeny tiny pieces of sand. Oh, it's called, they're called micronized shells with willow herb. <laughs> I don't know about the willow herb, but I'm telling you, this stuff will fluff off some dead skin. And I do that because I have really dry skin, and so if I don't, I get acne in my 30s. And so you gotta love that because every <laughs> woman in their 30s and 40s just would just wants acne. I just know we don't. Okay, so um, now I'm gonna use this. I just is something I newly discovered, and this is called Fresh Pressed Daily Booster with pure vitamin C. So I'm gonna say this is like taking a vitamin C for your face and because um, I'm a, there's moths outside, it's killing me. Because I'm a teacher, I do make sure I take my vitamin C every day. You should do a little dab like that. Um, keep from getting sick. All those beautiful children come and tell you how they're feeling this close to your face, you know. But, so I'm gonna put some vitamin C on my face. And this stuff is actually great. You can't tell right now, but it's gonna it's gonna smooth down um, the redness, and I think it's really been evening out the texture of my skin, and so I like it. It's awesome, and so that's that. And then, because, and I don't do this every day. I'm sorry, I'm being extremely myself right now, which I'm, I shouldn't apologize for. But um, anyway, this. Is something that I do every three days or so but you know your neck is one of the first place places to age and so um or where, where you can see age and so I use this Algenist um, liquid collagen and I just do a little bit of this every few days and this stuff is super cool um, you can see the little collagen beads in it and it's kind of pricey but because I only use it every few days um, it's definitely worth it. I try to make all of my stuff last as long as possible so that my husband doesn't freak out. Although he's super loving. I don't think he'd do that. Right, Tyler? <laughs> so this stuff I just put a little bit. 
and I rub it on my neck and I rub it upwards for the most part because who wants to drag it down? That's where it's going. We need to push it back up and that's so that's what I'm doing. And I just do a little bit of that and then um, of course, you know, as you get older, you get a lot of, um, your skin under your eyes is super delicate and you get a lot of little fine lines here. And so, um, I use different moisturizers to make sure that my fine lines are fine <laughs> and not just lines at my little makeup counter, but I keep all my moisturizers and stuff over here. So, um, I just put my lovely collagen stuff on my neck and then now this I think is the best investment for anybody in their early 30s I'm gonna say 30s and 40s and 50s and however old you are that you should invest in this stuff because um, this is Mural Murad retinol youth renewal serum and um, it's renewing my youth. <laughs> I think it's good. It has retinol in it. And I think that anybody in their early 30s should definitely adopt some sort of retinol in their skincare routine. And this one I have found um, to be really not harsh at all. And it definitely helps with all of my fine lines that I was talking about that I'm trying to keep fine and not just lines. So you just do a little dab like this. And this stuff has lasted me, I'd say, almost two months and so you just need a little bit you don't need a lot of any of this stuff like all things right you don't need a lot of anything need want different but it doesn't matter how much more of this you put on it's not going to change your fine lines any faster so you might as well make it last so I'll just put that all over my face and anyway so there's that and then, of course, now I've been talking about all of my creams, so um, I've tried a bunch of different ones, and something that I've found is that my face breaks out when I use sunscreen, and so I definitely use it, obviously, when I go out into the sun, but when I know that I'm going to be inside all day, especially when I'm just teaching, I, I prefer not to use it because I definitely don't want my face breaking out. So I, but to each their own, and that's why it's important to try different things and to figure that out for your skin because we, you know, take protein shakes and take vitamins and you go on your daily walks or work out, but your, the outside of your body is just as important as the inside. And so if you're going to take the time to take care of the inside, make sure you do that with the outside too. And so, um, not that I'm looking at myself right now and I don't think I'm anything special, but I definitely think that... The stuff that I found that's helped me, if it could help you or it would make you feel better, then that's great. So, okay, so I'm going to put my cream on my face now. And I'm going to start with, this is the, this stuff is awesome. <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes these labels just make me laugh so hard because, and hey, it could be true. But this is called Hungarian Thermal Water. Mm -hmm. So, from Hungary. I just, I don't know about that. But this, uh, minerals from the deep within the earth's crust, nine botanicals, triple lipid complex, nourish and restore for firmer, smoother, younger, healthier looking skin. You can't go wrong with the last few lines on here. So, you know, when I read it, I said, okay, okay. <laughs> you don't have to say any more box with label. So I'm going to take a little bit of this. Like I said before, modest is hottest. You don't have to have a lot. So, I put that everywhere, rub it all in, and I actually really like the way it smells. Not that anybody's going to be smelling my face but me, but hey, I got to smell my face all day long. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so now I'm going to put on my neck, mm -hmm, because that's going to seal in that collagen, those little beads, I hope. And put that on there, and then now... This video is getting way too long. But you know what? It's been a year. I mean, I gotta put it all in here. And I also have so many other things I need to talk about. Need, want, like I said before. I've got stuff to say. Um, okay, so then last but not least, in, in my, my video from <laughs> early summer, I told you about this uh, Kiehl's Creamy eye treatment with avocado in it and it's super cool because it's green but it definitely does help your under eye area but I tried to just use that in the morning um, because at nighttime kind of gets into my 
eyes and then I've got sensitive eyes and then wake up. They're swollen. It's not cute. Not cute on anybody. Thankfully, my dog loves me and my family, guys, and my husband. Um, so I'm going to use this instead. Both the Hungarian cream and this cream, I don't know I'm breathing so hard, is from Peter Thomas Roth. So this stuff right here is called Mega Rich Intensive Eye Aging Eye Cream. So what I like about this is that it's super thick, but yet when you put it on, it absorbs quickly so it doesn't just stay on top of your skin. And they say, they, I don't know who they is, people who've done research on this, ladies and gentlemen, not me. Um, I'm just your average consumer. But just dab under your eye because you definitely don't want to pull on the skin under your eye and because that would be bad. But sometimes I'm in a hurry and I do that anyway. Don't we all? Okay. And that's it. That seems like a lot. And I think it probably is. But like I said, I think that um, we, sh we should all have an, a routine that uh, makes us feel good about ourselves. And that starts with the inside. And so my routine on a daily basis doesn't just start with washing my face and putting all my creams on and putting my makeup on. And it doesn't just end with all of the same things, but when I wake up in the morning, my daily routine is to be thankful for my life and for my family and for my health and for the fact that I have skin to put lotion on and um, for my job and just for so many different things. But that thanks is so much more than just thoughts in my head and definitely... Um, have to give a shout out to God <laughs> because without him at the beginning of the day, throughout my day, and at the end of my day, I don't know what I would do. And so anyway, um, part of my routine is to be thankful all the time and just to be joyous in the fact that God has given me life and he's given me a life to um, share his love with others. And so I do that every day. And as I'm looking at my face in this screen, and I know that I'm supposed to look at the camera over here, but that just feels weird to look at a tiny black dot. Um, I gotta look at, I'm looking at myself like I'm looking in the mirror, but um, I just am thankful. And I'm thankful that you can kind of see um, this extra red area. At, at one point, two years ago, I actually made pie <laughs> for my family. And when I went to take the pie out of the oven, I dropped it on the floor and um, it was a strawberry rhubarb pie, which I still like pie. People like to ask that. They're not like, how's your face? Uh, no, I, I like pie. Um, but anyway, dropped it. The pie splattered all on top of my face, actually on my eyelid too. And I had second degree burns everywhere. And um, I'll post a picture here in a second so you can see it. But I, you know, after that point, I just kind of said to myself, you know, man, I'm thankful. I'm so thankful for my life and, and the fact that I have healthy skin, things that we take for granted all the time. And um, so I said I was going to take good care of it. And I did everything I could to make it heal for the most part. But those scars remind me that beauty is so much more than the surface. Beauty's in the heart. And um, thank you, God, for giving me a heart that can share this with whoever decides to watch this video. So that's all I've got to say. And if you have any questions, I'm, I am not an expert, but I will definitely share whatever I have with all of you. And just remember that when you're having a down day or a down moment, that I love you. And if you were one of my former students, Ms. B loves you.